On today's episode of In The Know, we'll explore this year's recertification program, which is now live in ProAdvisor Academy. Hey, Pro Advisors, it's Jacqueline, and you're watching In The Know, where you can get exclusive access to demos of Intuit product enhancements by the leaders who built them. Recertification is a key way to maintain and showcase your knowledge about the most important innovations made across the Intuit platform. The exam is open from April 28th to June 30th. You'll need to recertify to maintain your certified status if you pass the exam before November 1st of 2024. If you're level one certified, you'll need to pass the level one recertification. And if you're level two certified, you'll need to pass the level two recertification, which is comprehensive and includes level one content. So let's jump right into ProAdvisor Academy and explore recertification. To access ProAdvisor Academy, start by logging in to QuickBooks Online Accountant. Then navigate to the ProAdvisor tab in the left-hand nav and click on training, then start learning. That brings us right into ProAdvisor Academy where you'll land on my hub. You'll see that as a level one certified ProAdvisor, I'm already enrolled in the level one recertification exam. If I were a level two certified ProAdvisor, then I'd be enrolled in the level two program. Another way to access the program is by visiting the certification tab. Here, I can click Get Started. Within the course, I can access the learning, which is about 90 minutes long and worth one and a half CPE credits. The course ends with an exam. You'll need to pass with a score of 80% or higher to retain your certified status. Now, if you've kept up to date with product changes, you can choose to test out at any time. You'll need to pass the exam in one sitting with a score of 80% or higher, and we'll have three attempts before a 10-day cooldown period kicks in. That said, you can at any point choose to take the learning course. Let's now take a look at the level two program. This is only applicable to pro advisors who are level two certified, formerly known as advanced. In the level two program, you'll work through both the level one and level two courses, each of which ends with a short exam. You'll need to pass both exams with scores of 80% or higher to maintain your level two status. You can attempt to test out at any time. The test out exam is comprehensive and should be done in one sitting. In addition to the self-paced courses, you can also choose to prepare by joining the ProAdvisor team on a webinar, which will run bi-weekly during the recertification window. You can catch the registration link in the YouTube description below. All right, now that we've toured ProAdvisor Academy, let's address some FAQs. First, who has to recertify? If you took the certification before November 1st of 2024, you're required to pass the recertification exam by June 30th, 2025 to retain your certified status. The best way to verify your status is in ProAdvisor Academy. The 2025 recertification will only be visible if you need to recertify. Next, you might be wondering, why are there new program names? Well, the program names might feel new. The core certification is now called QuickBooks Online Level 1, and advanced certification is now called QuickBooks Online Level 2. We changed the names to more clearly communicate a continuous learning journey. Plus, the level two training dives into the more sophisticated tools, features, and workflows that QuickBooks supports rather than just focusing on the advanced SKU. So the new name should help clear up any confusion. All right, next question. How do I recertify? To recertify, you must pass the recertification exam. This year, you'll find two distinct ways to recertify. First is the course level exam. You can take the self-paced course, answer all the knowledge checks, and then pass the exam with a score of 80% or higher. Alternatively, you can choose to test out. If you're already up to date, the test out option could be a great fit for you. You should plan to take the exam in one sitting and you'll have three attempts to pass. If you're a level two certified pro advisor, this next bit is for you. To maintain your level two status, you need to pass both the level one and level two course exams with scores of 80% or higher by June 30th. If you choose the test out option, this covers both the level one and level two questions. 
you should take this comprehensive exam in one sitting, and you'll have three attempts to pass with a score of at least 80%. Now you may be wondering, what if I pass the level two certification on or after November 1st of 2024? Do I need to recertify this year? Great question. The recertification requirements are based on your highest level of certification. So if you completed the QuickBooks Online Level 1 prior to November 1st, 2024, and QuickBooks Online Level 2 after November 1st of 2024, then you are set until the recertification season of 2026. We'll see you then. Finally, how do I prepare? Well, the self-paced modules are available starting today, April 28th in ProAdvisor Academy. You can access these on your own time at your own pace. Or you can choose to join us at a webinar which will run bi-weekly during the certification season. These are taught by leading ProAdvisor trainers. And that's a wrap on the FAQs. If you find this update interesting or helpful, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Let me recap with the fast facts. Recertification is open from April 28th to June 30th in ProAdvisor Academy for US-based ProAdvisors. That's all we have for now. For more product updates and demos, check out our In The Know Hub and be sure to register for the monthly webinar. We'll catch you next time.